God's servant. God's choice servant. Evangelist Vincent Chukuka. Welcome, sir. May I ask you to still take a minute to repeat that prayer again. Advance again in that prayer. St stage my encounter for me, Lord, please. Anything that will make me miss it. Anything that will make me miss it. Father, please. Father, please. Father, please. Father, please. Father, please. Father, please. Makuta Pinotos Otelis. Father, please. Please help me. Please help me. Let me not miss God. Let me not miss God. Let me not miss God. Until I look more Until I'm deep and lost to you. Speak it good in over till I look more until my holy gaze is speak it good in over till I look more until I'm deep and lost to you. Speak it good in over. Till I look more love. Until my heart looks like yours Speak it to the Lord Till I look more love. Until my soul goes like yours Speak it to the Lord Till I look more love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sit down. In the name of Jesus. Father, convert your word to sword. Let it pierce into the marrows of our inner man. Convert your word into fire. Let it purge out the chaff and set the substance on fire. Convert your word into a hammer. Let it break down structures you have not raised. Convert your word into an axe. Let it cut down trees that our heavenly father had not planted. Convert your word into water. Let it become a rain that will help us to reign. Reign that will help us to reign. Convert your word into I serve. Cause our eyes. Convert your word to oil. Let our head lack no oil. 
thank you holy father in jesus christ's name we have prayed together can i hear better amen, amen. john chapter 16 John chapter 16 I'll read verse 12 I have yet many Things to say unto you. Are we together? I have yet many things to give to you. I have yet many things to show you. I have yet many things to do with you. I have yet many things to release unto you. But you cannot bear them now. I'm going to consult translations as I use this to set a template for our flow tonight. And I would like you to be very, very uh, careful and attentive. I have yet many things to say to you. And he that is speaking is the strength of Israel. He cannot lie. When he says, I have many things. He has many things. There are many dimensions I am yet, I'm yet to bring you into. There are many angles of my authority. I'm here to deliver into your hands. He said, but you cannot bear them now. It is again the omission of capacity. As I prayed, as I prayed, the Lord began to charge my heart. He said, drag this matter deeper. Let my children understand, understand the implication of the rod and the staff. The implication of delivering into a man the rod of God's power. If you take time to study your Bible, I told you yesterday that you will make a discovery. One of the critical discoveries you will make is that every serious thing God wants to do, He will send His rod. When I read the Bible, I saw that Jacob said, I now told myself, I said, there is no need to run ministry to try to raise lives when I have not set the rod in front of their eyes. I will only end up raising a cattle for Laban 
weird generation of Christians that Satan can use. Usable to hell by hell. All the cattle that we are strong. Their leader set forth Christ and his power in front of them. So Paul began to speak. He said, when I came to you, I did not come in excellency of wisdom. I repeated what Jacob did. I held back my degrees so that your faith will not stand in the words of man or in vain. He said, we came in power. We set before you. What made you get born again? What made a city like Pegamos? Do you know Pegamos? That's where Zeus comes from. Athena. City of gods. Where you go? This one says I worship Zeus. This one says I worship Ap. This one says I worship Athena. You go there, you see people who have gods in such city. Paul came and raised a breed for Christ. He said, I did this because I refuse to set before you the wisdoms of man and the grammatical power of, of theology school. I think I've shared it before. And I will not stop sharing it until you hear it. You see this thing I want to share? I've been sharing it for for some years and we not stop some people say i should not share. i will keep sharing it you have not heard it one church invited a man of god from he's a white man and he came to the church and preached the same message for six months the first time he came he said i want to talk to us about the greatness of god somebody say greatness of god say greatness of god you too like this type of thing. <laughs> so he started. The next Sunday he came back. I want to talk again about the greatness of God. So six months later, the church leaders called him and said, Man of God, should we help you? Are you lacking a, a trance? Is it that you are not seeing your Bible again? They said, This is six months now. He said, I'm stop teaching about the greatness of God until you hear me. They said, we've heard. He said, no, no, no. If you've heard me, I'm going to see the greatness in you. I'm going to see the greatness in you. As long as I have it in you, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> uh, people that I know what to do. This thing that these people are can, we can do it too. It's just that, <laughs> it's just that we have not so learned Christ. I have confused people. I was speaking to prophets in a meeting. I said, all of you can read your Bible. Many of you who are gifted with prophetic grace, you don't know Bible. That's why your church is where the most immoral set of people stay. You don't teach Bible and you don't raise lives with prophecy. You don't use miracle signs and wonders to raise soldiers. If you want to raise an army, you look for teaching priests. Man, they know how to put, put metals in fire and rout them into weapons. It is the work of blacksmiths. They are four jars of weapon. You give them men that are tired, ladies that were molested and raped, people that are heartbroken, battered and shattered. They know how to, they know how to walk with them in the fire. They know how to sit around the furnace until they become weapons. You don't use, you don't use the prophecies. I believe in it. I've seen the work. Prophetic grace, but you don't use it to raise soldiers. 
Can I prophesy? My friend, answer me. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Tell me, Major. 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 Have I seen you before? You say, no, Papa. Okay, see, I said the thing. Have I seen you before? Do you know me before? Have we seen before? Have we seen before? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I see your mother. Your mother is a woman. Prophet! Prophet! Have you seen before? Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. How have I helped you? No, no. How have I helped you? What have I done about your prayerlessness? What have I done about your anger? What have I done about the fact that you are behind time? By your days of manifestation, the sun is at its peak. Time to shine. And you are not yet polished. How have I helped you? You can't you carry as a soldier like this. How have I taught you how to handle the battles of life? The challenges that follow greatness. The wickedness and principalities that hunt. That hunt after men of destiny. Star gazers. That know where Jesus is born. And pray to Jesus they can locate it. Anytime Christ is delivered in a man, they can trace it. How have I helped you? This is my problem. This is my challenge. So, I've decided to set the rod before the cattle. And Jacob set the rod before the cattle. Paul came and interpreted it. He said the meaning of what Jacob did was that I removed theological prowess. Theology is good. Gain if you want to. I've gone to theology schools to minister. When I finished, some of the pastors ran after me. They said, my man of God, what's your theology school? I said, wilderness. They said, no, no, we mean where did you the exegesis? I said, I said, hey, I said it's altar. It's good. Trap God. In fact, I wish it will be another tyrannos, the school of one tyrannos. School where you can you can invest life more than you invest words. Head knowledge. So back to what I was sharing. I wanted to share to you this story I've shared before. Some of you might have heard me say it. That when we this pastor that pastored the church was he was a he was a wizard. In words, he could put words together. Grammatical settings were something else, and he's very careful about that. So one day we don't know where fire came from. All we knew was that during service, fire broke out, and one girl began to manifest, and he tried to cast out the devil with grammar. You people don't want to hear this thing. He turned to the girl and pointed at her and said, You insolent, obtuse, precarious devil. How dare you be redundant? Come on. 
The demon possessed girl spoke up. <laughs> she said, I'm not going. You know when Moses threw down his rod, some magicians threw down their rod. And Moses' snake looked at their snake and said, ah, what insult? He said, who are these small, small cobras talking? Where Anaconda is talking? What kind of thing is this? Who are these forces talking? If I came here with a shint of days, follow me this night. Pastor removed coat, removed jacket, losing style. This girl held church for two hours. Sweat everywhere. One brother traveled that cannot put together structure. Can't put grammar together. He can't he can't structure English well. Didn't read. But he had the capacity to bear the rod. There are things I want to tell you tonight. And I believe they will change your life. To bear the rod. To bear the rod. The staff. Elisha gave Gehazi what carried him in ministry. I said, take, go. Put it in the face of the child. What happened to Gehazi? You don't have capacity to activate this thing. What is contained in the Bible that made Charles Spurgeon the prince of preacher? You have the same Bible. And demons are terrorizing you. What is wrong? This brother came from nowhere and said, Pastor, a school. A school. Say it where professors are. Pastor, a school, a school. What's the problem? He said, imagine this redundant devil. I've told him to leave the euphoria and atmosphere and radius of this girl's life and he's being stubborn. He said, Pastor, understand not English. Pastor. He was telling the man that I'm even me that is a woman being. I'm not getting what you are saying. Pastor, understand not English. The lingua franca. The demons here. It's not grammar. What? Whether you used TV language or you used TV or you used Yoruba, what they want to know is who is talking. What is holding this rod? Who? Don't go back home today, the same. Refuse it. He went to the demon possessed girl and said, In the name of Jesus, demon came out. You see again. Came out. Came out. Is this supposed to be came out? Uh -huh. The demon possessed girl shouted and said, Ah! The grammar is wrong. The fire is correct. And jumped out. That's how the So Paul said, I didn't come to you. He said, I have it too. But I decided to set before you Christ crucified.
So we want to go deeper. Fast. You are not fast. Message. Let Please give him the mic. I still have many things to tell you. I, that mic is not talking. Please give him a mic that is. I still have many things to tell you. I still have many things to tell you. But you can't handle them now. But you can't handle them now. I'm surprised you're sitting down. How can you read this kind of scripture and sit down? No. This is a serious issue. You have to ask yourself, so Lord, when? I have many things to tell you, beloved. When God talks like this, what, 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 what do you need to do to yourself now? You can't handle now. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. I cannot lay upon you the burden of shame. I can't lay upon you because I see you nearly living the fate over the burden of your younger sister. Ability to hold your maximum productivity. Depends on what is the capacity here. What is the measure? And for your information, God measures out treasures. God measures out treasures. He said to Moses, to the greater tribe, give them more land. Confirm? He said to the lesser tribe, Give them smaller land. Every one of us sitting here wants big things. But you forgot that you lack the capacity. <laughs> yeah? I have three children. What it takes me to pray. I got to help you now. Do you know that at times I'm groaning on my altar? In fact, last week I was groaning on my altar. So my my two daughters came back, my wife carried them to the parlor to do the assignment. I was just groaning in the room. So they started arguing about square and rectangle. The other one said, I'm coming. She left the parlor and came to the room. Hi! She shouted when she saw me pray. She said, when will he finish now? He said, daddy, excuse, 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 daddy. If, if I ask you this one question, I'm not disturb you again. You know, you know, you play plenty prayer. You play. So, <laughs> she said, I stop praying now. You see, it. do you have the capacity to carry three children? If I carry one child, at times you wake up in the midnight, the body is hot. The more you try to calm the body down, the hotter it gets. And tomorrow you have a good friend. And this is three hours since you've been awake. And your wife is telling you, excuse me, honey. <laughs> In fact, even this side of my body is also hot. As I'm attending to that, a call will just come in 12 a.m. 2 a.m. in the night. I'm trying to attend to that. A call will just come in. It will ring, I ring, I ignore it. Text will follow. That if you don't pick now, my corpse tomorrow. I 
I said, hey, what is going on? You will hear cry. Oh, we are in the hospital now. She's almost dead. The Lord said you should speak. I said, which law? Which law? Which law? Which law? I can't, can't you see my daughter here? Capacity. Capacity. And you don't come up tomorrow in the conference. And tell them, hey, brethren, brethren, I had myself behind the cross. So don't, anything I say here, don't see me, see the cross. Whatever I talk, don't, don't bother about me. Don't accuse me, accuse the cross. You are the one we will accuse you. It's you. Because the cross has never failed. I received the instruction to make this thing clear to you. You can't handle them now. My little boy is now beginning to finish one this small plate they use in making pap for him. And he will start crying again. One day he finished it and looked and saw that it was finished. He, he kicked it. I said, what's the problem? From his from his word that he constructed, I understood that he was telling me. Don't you know that? What kind of path did you make here? You know, he, he rushed his mother with a flying nodding. <laughs> On the stomach. The mom he said, What is it? He said. Increase me. But I knew when this boy could hardly finish this thing. Why is it that the only thing increasing in your life is your stomach? Nothingness. Your tolerance is, is going down. Your altar. As a married man. Is the altar you used to do NYSC. You have not restructured it. Don't you know that weight has been added here? Clothes that you used in four years, when you were four years, if you put them on now, I hope you know that what was trouser, if at all it enters, will become a bone shot now. So you are prone to attack, yet you are dressed. You are wearing Christ. You wonder why you are naked. Your body is exposed to danger. Yet I am clear. I know your problem on that size. The only thing increasing, check what this thing I'm telling you, has been your stomach for years. That's the only thing that the volume increases. How many things? What's that translation? Message. But you can't handle them now. I read about a man of God who went to the mountain and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried for God to release something on him. God said, I will show you something. God told him and said, tomorrow go down from the mount for days without food and water. God said, go down. He went down. God said, something uncommon is on you. You know, when that thing comes, he came back and met his room scattered. I don't know what came upon his dog. He's a white man. I don't know what came upon his dog and he scattered the entire room. He turned and said, How dare you buy the anointing? Die. The dog dried up. God came back and said, This thing will return. Six years later. This thing will return six years later. When you know how to be a lion and a lamb. 
when you have the capacity to use the rod six years later is six years cheap ability to absorb ability to hold thank you sir i'm looking for cv who is carrying cv or living bible even yes sir what do you have cv let me hear cv first before i leave that scripture i have much you uh, excuse me sir what is the meaning of i have much? i have much to say to you yes sir but right now but excuse me right now what is your condition right now eh read it it would be more than you could understand It will be more than you can understand. It will be more than you can carry. For when thou ought to be teachers, you still have need that we teach you the elementaries of faith. Right now, the way your heart is now, the way you are struggling now the things that are dealing with you now the way you are now it will be more than you can carry hey jeremiah 48 i think i should read that scripture jeremiah 48 Please read it for me. 48, 17. Quick. I will order the nearby nations uh -huh. to mourn and say I will order the nearby nations to mourn uh -huh. Uh -huh. to mourn for you and say me to mourn for who? You see now, you have put it on me. To mourn for me. How about you? To mourn for you and say, yes sir. Isn't it sad? Is it not sad? Uh -huh. Moab ruled others. Moab ruled others. But now, it's glorious power has been shattered but his power is shattered now hmm. king james quick I'm, i want to touch scriptures today yes sir all ye that have heard him be mourn him mourn him yes sir and all ye that know his name say uh -huh. listen to this how is the strong star broken are the beautiful raw let us answer that question one of the churches in england currently where where wesley and some of the fathers worshipped is currently a bar And they decided not to rearrange the structure they left it like that they came to that altar and re, re enlarged it they enlarged it and a naked lady lies there play on her body how is the staff staff that closed down their palace how is it broken I know the answer. We gave it to boys. You are not hearing me this night. There were times when politicians called men of God my father. Now, 
Now, men of God call politicians. A brother was sharing with us, he said that he was, he prayed, this politician came to him, he prayed for him. You are not following me. Are you following me? I'm deliberate the way I'm flowing, you know. I'm very deliberate. The politician came to him and said, pray for me. If I win election, I will change your life and your ministry. Uh -huh. I've been pitying them. It's good. Are they okay? Their legs don't pain them. Can I hear man? You know, I was eating and the man snapping camera was disturbing me. And Holy Ghost said, if you don't want him to disturb you again, allow him to drink. So I said, the man on the camera, drink. <laughs> and that was the end of the, <laughs> the meeting. We now continue the impartation service. He was blocking me. <laughs> so, the moment he came on him, I now had space to do what I wanted to do. I now saw that I, we don't need to, all this thing that we are complaining and shouting is not necessary. Let's set the road. So, the politician, if you pray for me, I will, I will anything, your ministry, I will change your ministry, change your life, change your cloth. I will take care of you. He prayed, the man won the election. When, the, when he, started, he started coming to the house of the politician every day, anytime he comes, they will keep him where the guards and the dogs used to stay. Anytime he comes, one day he came very early before the security agencies could wake up to remind the politician of his promise. He came very early. The man saw, the man, they went and told the man that pastor is downstairs. He said, tell him to wait for me. It took him three hours to come down. Pastor was waiting. When he came down, he said, yes, man of God, as you can see, I'm going up now. Um, you know, some of you are not busy. You may not understand what it takes. Some of us who are very busy to, you know, to create time for people like you. So, um, 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 uh, what's that your problem again? What's that your problem again? Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. You serve a poor God. You serve a very wretched God. Who needs for me to... Um, uh, okay, what will happen is I have a lot of projects now. I have a lot, a lot of things in the prostatals, you know. Uh, 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 let's see what we can do for you. Uh, for now, hold this 500 naira, you know. Let's... No, what we can do for you later on. See, but, uh, meanwhile, no, no, how you come here, okay? Uh, mommy is upstairs. Mommy, give the hungry pastor rice to eat. The wife, who is a sister, now heard pastor, and he came down and saw him and shouted, Jesus! Mom! Yeah. I was thanking God last night for baptism of the Holy Ghost. He said he will send me a man. Glory to God. You are here. She cleaned her hand because she was washing. She says, Sir, Holy Ghost, now. The prayer said, In the name of Jesus. That was all. For more than three hours, the lady was drunk. When he came back to fellowship that evening, as they were taking opening prayer, prophecy broke out. Baker! He said he was the one who was shouting. What kind of prophecy? Stop that! Baker! 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 He said he started shouting. Who is a beggar here? None of us are beggars here. What, 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 what kind of problem? He said he knew 
who God was talking to. The voice now eventually says, I gave you what can shake nations. And you carried it to beg. Beg! How is the staff broken? I mean, staff of authority. Staff that the Almighty used. How is that staff broken? They gave it to boys. People that lacked the muscle to bear such heavy weight. It fell into their hands. And for your information, mark it as a prophecy. Very soon, thrones will be empty. Many fathers are going. Mark my words. Thrones will soon be empty in less than a decade. Several fathers will soon leave. I want the holy. You know one day I said, who will carry deeper life? You know one day I said, in my spirit, I was just meditating. I said, excuse me. Who will carry When the day is gone, who can control the ocean? You come in a meeting, you see three million people, and one man talking as if, as if, point one. If there is somebody you will bless, that will be me. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. You know, you've tried it before. You say, Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. They, they, they were looking at you. You thought, he, you thought he's asking for that Hallelujah from a void ground. You know where the mountain is coming from. I hope you know to bless, you have to be on a mount. To curse, you have to come from a mount. The Bible said, Let so 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 men stand upon Mount this and stand upon Mount this. Then this mountain shall curse. Then this mountain shall. You don't bless from a plain ground. Be empty. This father, black and his hair is gray. Thrones will soon be empty. The staff, at least the ones remaining, will soon fall into the hands of who? How is the staff broken? That what Catherine Kuma used to dwarf men into your hands, and all he could produce is a slave wing. How is the staff broke? This night is not all of you that I want to pray. With. There are people that I that God is looking for their attention this night. Rod and staff of your family has it not fallen into your hands? How? Some years back in the news. A church wedded a man and a cat. It came out in the news. Maybe you didn't see it. A man and a cat. He wedded them. A church, not a mosque. How is this car broken? I, I will show you how. I'm coming now. I'm coming. I will show you a few seconds. Oh, some people sat. It's already contracting body here. They threatened the pastor. 
So he wedded the man and the cat. They said to the man, do you foolish man take this lovely cat to be your wedded wife in sickness and in poor until death do you pass? He said yes. They turned to the pussy. They said, do you take this man to be your lovely wedded this idiot in, in sickness and the pussy said meow. Meow meow. He lifted the pussy cat and kissed him in front of the altar. How is this How? Pastor, the pastoral office fell into your hands. See what you are doing to our daughters. The glory of priesthood is gone. You go somewhere now. It's better you say you're a normal man. The moment you mention I'm a pastor, police will say pack well. Pack. Say police, I'm a pastor. It's all okay. That's why I say pack. 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 Thief them. You know a policeman packed me during Corona? No, one small car like that that I'm driving on. The policeman back. He looked at me. He saw my Bible. He said, it's like you're a minister. He said, yes. He said, pack well. I packed. He talked. He asked questions. I answered. All of a sudden, he said, Cry. God is with this one. He said, I will keep you here. He said, I am pastor. What read my picking for school? Now, pastor, Policeman said, The one when I invite for my family, what do you do us? Eh? When we reach heaven, I go beat and come out. He said, But I smell your God, man of God, pass. How is this? There are days that when you say I'm a pastor, people tremble. I remember years of salvation army. We are in boots. We are the pioneers of the walk. Where is Salvation Army now? We fell into the hands of boys. Where is AG? The AG? Ah! AG! The post revival! Capacity. It has fallen into the hands of men. Who go to court for leadership? Who go to court before, before a Muslim judge? For who will be your guy here? How does this start? Look at the beautiful rod. Rod that Moses with Egypt bowed. Slave brothers, George Whitefield, the wicked, inclined back, their palace closed up. Oh God, Sabaya Keteka, Arakata Batirata. How is this path broken? It's only to the hands of girls who are more interested in their skin than they are in their inner man. See the time you spend on skin. See the amount of money you lavish on carcass. Your cream is about 12,000 naira. Your Bible doesn't have Genesis. How is this power broken? Who are more interested in shaking their protest than in shaking their Christ? People that want to dangle their protest and their praise, they don't want to shake their world. They don't want to shake a preacher. They don't want to shake a preacher. They don't want to shake a preacher. How is the staff broken? It's only to the hands of men that lack capacity. 
dwelling body has, how is the apostolic man to despise? Man, the enter Pergamos, city of God. The work in Bethlehem, the enter Corinth, city where they worship mass. And by the apostolic office, Christos, Epelia, Pergamos, Ingratatina Christus, Apotheculia, Senete. By the apostolic office, by, by the prophetic office, they cause nations to submit on that crap. How is that stuff broken? If only to our hands, the lack ability to hold, lacked. Capacity to absorb direct the frequency to discharge. How is the prophetic mantle broken? We come upon sisters who do not have what they do heart. We come upon sisters who are not watchers as the better was. We come upon sisters who lack the Lord rather than watch the gates of the city. How is the star broken? Watch. Somebody help me as a church. Somebody help me as a church. Where is SU? Where is scripture union? Somebody help me as a church. Where is our spirit fit? Denomination that put her at bay. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, I just heard a voice. Remnants are here. Remnants are here. Remnants are here. My heart longs for it is a place where my soul is. It is a place where deep calls to do. I am overwhelmed by the song alone. Take me by to your own. Let me see your face. Hey, Katia, 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 What is your place? Oh. 
us to do. It is a place my soul. Son 
Lay your hands upon the head of this house. Down. Let me let me just open one window. Oh my God! Who broke this stuff? Soon be empty. Oh, I remember grace of God. When Paul had to be preaching in a crusade, that was all. Little smoke, fathers said, Little, little smoke will be around the stage. Little smoke from glory that descended, grace of God. A deadly arrow. You see this hands. You see this hands. Okay. Since it is like this. Like this, let me let me give our prayer point. In Judges chapter 16, somewhere around verse 15. You you have it. Can you scream it? Judges 16 from 15 said unto him and she said unto me how canst thou say how I love thou say I love you when thy heart is not with me when your heart is not with me thou has mocked me these three times you have mocked me these three times thou has told me within thy great strength lie it uh -huh. wherein thy great strength lie it uh -huh. and he came to me so that his soul was vexed unto go, death go. that he told her all his heart uh -huh. And said unto her, Aha. There has not come a razor upon my head. Good. For I have been a Nazareth. Now, now excuse me, sir. Come. Now, all of you, look up. I wish it were not Delilah in this picture. So you will not have problem with picking the lesson. Delilah said to Samson. Your strength lie. How can I be in the same house with a man that has the capacity to carry a gate? Where are the 
does your capacity lie? How do you grow so strong? Will you not ask God that question? How can I live in the same house with a spirit that has ability to cause legs grow? How does your strength lie, Samson? Yeah. How are you capable? How are you capable of using a chopper to slay the disciples? Men that are carrying swords, you use the, the mandible of an ass. Then, as she pressed him, I picked a lesson. Samson said, Nobody has shaved my devotion. with one useless chat and they will shave him. Your head will become bad. At times it will be hunger. At times it will be running for school fees. But then will just show you. You will go back to school. You will go and say, ah! You will remove the lock of Samson's head. Somebody, stay in power. I collect the whole thing. I collect staying power. I collect staying power. Twenty years from now. Fifteen years from now. Fifteen years from now. Shabek, 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 Shabek. Obia, Obia.
You promised to save me. You said you will not leave me. You said you will not leave me. You said you are with me. Go and walk through the fire. Go and walk through the water. By more than my star. Go and walk through it. Somebody help me. Help from heaven. All the spirits in heaven. Join forces to help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Who is tired of Who is weary? And is 